Hello, welcome to my channel Tall Talks from a Short Lady. In this video on technical writing, I'm going to be talking about how to describe an object. So basically, we need to follow four simple steps. The first step is to tell the reader what is the object and what is it used for. And this can be done simply by giving the definition of the object. The second part of a description requires us to tell the reader about the look of the particular object and this can be done through a label diagram. The third part needs the technical writer to explain to the reader what are the different components or parts that the object is made of. And the last part of a description tell the reader about how the particular object functions. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking up an oximeter as an example to take you through the four steps of describing an object. I'll start with the first part for description, which is the definition. So an oximeter is an instrument for measuring the proportion of oxygenated hemoglobin in the blood in a non-invasive way. The second part of a description is to talk about how the object looks. In this case, we will be using a label diagram. Now, when you look at the diagram, you will notice the first thing is that each part or component is numbered. Second thing, that there is a direction that is followed. In this case, we're going in the anti-clockwise direction, but you're free to move it in other direction like the clockwise, left to right, right to left, bottom up or top down. The third part of a description is to talk about the different parts or components. So let me start with the on off button. This button is used to power the device and also switch it off after use. Then moving on to the second component, which is the finger opening. This is the opening at the end of the clamp where one places a fingertip or a earlobe. The third component is the pulse rate reading. This shows the number of times or heartbeats per minute. The normal range is between 60 to 100 beats per minute. The fourth component is the oxygen saturation reading. Now the oxygen saturation measures the percentage of oxygen bound hemoglobin in the blood. The normal range is between 95 and 100 percent. The fifth component is the battery indicator. This displays the percentage of electric charge left in the battery. The sixth component and the last component is the battery compartment. This houses the AAA batteries that provide power to the device. Coming to the last part of a description, in this we're going to talk about how the oximeter functions. Now light is emitted from light sources which goes across the pulse oximeter probe and reaches the light detector, which you can see at the bottom. Now, two types of light, red and infrared lights, are used in an oximeter. When you place a finger in between the light source and the light detector, the light passes through the finger and the tissues in it to reach the detector. A part of the light will get absorbed by the finger and part which is not absorbed reaches the light detector. The amount of light that is absorbed by the finger is used by the oximeter to calculate the oxygen saturation level in the blood. This is how a description of an object goes. For more videos on this topic, please refer to the description box below. The name of my channel is Tall Talks from a Short Lady. And with that, I will say thank you and bye.